Welcome to the Benefit Site Building. Hey everybody, this is Chris Lightness, MobilitySite.com and what you see in front of you is not a Windows mobile phone. This is going to be quite weird for y'all and me. Uh, I've never really looked at anything besides Windows mobile and a couple Palm devices and this one is a Blackberry. It's the Blackberry Pearl 8110 on AT&T. It was just announced I think last week and it's going to retail for about 200 bucks AT&T with contract so let's uh, take a look at it uh, bust it open and look at some of the um, some of the other devices next to it and uh, what we're going to do on mobility side is I'm going to uh, basically keep a diary of my usage with it since I've never used a rim device period so so we got a little starting guide here manual and CD which I will have to uh, check out because uh, I've never used one of these before and I'll need the software. While wow, that's the device, I'm going to set that aside for now. It feels pretty, uh, pretty heavy. Not heavy, but you know, solid. So it looks like that's going to be the sync. Looks like we got a mini USB to USB there. And a uh, little slip case with a belt clip on it. Not sure I want to put my device in something like that, but we'll see. We've got a headset with a uh, 3.5 millimeter jack. And looks like a Blackberry folding blade travel charger. Let's get that open and take a look at that too. Probably just a wall jack with a USB on it. Yep, that's what it is. Got the clip down right there so you can put that in your bag or whatever. So that's it. That's what's in the box. And let's, uh, oh, nope, excuse me. We have the battery, which is, uh, let's see here. It doesn't say on the battery what the, uh, what the life is. So we'll just pop it in and take a look. And we'll do that in just a moment. So I went ahead and turned it on just to see. I plugged the battery in and wanted to see if it had any juice. And it's booting up for the first time right now. I haven't put a SIM card in it. So it's not going to be able to pick up the network se selections and whatnot. But uh, we'll take a look at it here in just a second once this gets booted up. This uh, has a 64 meg of onboard memory and a micro SD slot, which is right here under that cover and uh, we'll try our 8 gig uh, SanDisk micro SD card in it once we get going here and it looks like it's taking quite a bit of time to boot up for the first time there you go with AT&T Splash and security software it's not 122 p.m. we're gonna run the setup wizard okay so Let's uh, readjust my camera just a tad here and get you a look there and do what this says. We're going to run the setup wizard. Introduction, I'm not even going to read any of this stuff. Hit the next button, English. I like that little scroll wheel on there though, I'll tell you that right away. I'm not 100% sure how to navigate on this real well. We're going to click on English. Next. Remove all unselected languages from device. Okay. That's nice. And please keep in mind that this is the very first time that I have ever used any form of RIM. I am Central Time. And I'm not going to set the time right now. Hopefully it will pick up network time once I put my SIM in it. Next. Next. Typing tutorial. I don't like the typing. I can tell you that right now. I'm not even going to do that. I can build words. That's neat. You hear that little sound. That's me 
quickly scrolling on that little uh, mouse there. Uh, let's see. Oh wow, it's trying to go with Christmas. There we go. It actually found my name in there. Or, you know, predicted my name. I want to use my email. I want to skip the email setup because I will, if possible, be using Exchange Server. I have no uh, Blackberry um, packages anywhere. I've got no way to use that. We'll use default. And next. Next. Finish. We are through. Please confirm current time or date. Okay. And that's it. This is the device. And it looks pretty neat. I don't like this keyboard here. I'm going to tell you all that right away. The, um, it's, oops, that's a broken pencil. That won't work for a pointer, will it? Um, it's not a full QWERTY. It's like a T9 with, uh, there's another name for that. And I'm not even going to try to tell you what all these buttons are. This is your talk, your call, back, and I guess this is the equivalent on a Windows mobile phone to a start button. Let's see what it does there. Okay, it brings up a little application. Let's see, get out of that. All right, now on the bottom, let's see what we got there. You got a microphone uh, on the sides got this button here which I'm not sure what it does yet micro SD slot your headphone jack and your USB port at the top here got this Let's open that up there that doesn't open okay it looked like it opened so I've just pulled this out of the box and we're looking at it and we got your volume here and another hard key here a little lanyard connector on the back is a real nice flash, flashy surface with a 2 megapixel camera and that's about it, the battery cover and the battery is up under there if you want to look at that it slides up like that right there and there's your battery under there so that is the device oops I hit the camera button somewhere so anyway let's uh, take a look at it alongside some other okay, devices here we are with the uh, 8110 next to what I'm currently using which is the singular or the AT&T tilt and you know there's obvious thickness difference there it's about the same height but a lot more thicker and you know with this one you got the keyboard so uh, next to the Sprint Samson Ace about the same height or uh, this one's a little higher it's about the same thickness as you can see there next to the Nokia N95 open it's quite a bit bigger but there you go the M95 is quite a bit thicker about the same weight uh, Palm Trio 750 can't wait for the 800 to come out 800W Roll with there and for the Axum site folks here you go here's your big Axum next to it about the same thickness though and there you have it so I'll take a look at it, get it all synced and charged up, and then we'll take a look at some of the software included on it. I won't be able to show you everything because, uh, well, I don't have the Exchange or the um, BlackBerry service, so I won't be able to do that for you, but we'll take a look at it. Maybe I'll get some Exchange server set up going, so um, be right back.